I'm Stephanie Smith, Chief Curator at the Institute for Contemporary Art at VCU and one of the co-curators of Commonwealth. And I'm Noah Simblist. I'm Associate Professor of Art at VCU Arts and a co-curator of Commonwealth. The term Commonwealth is so often taken for granted in relation to Virginia, Richmond, and Virginia Commonwealth University that it inspired us to think about both its utopian potential and its historical contradictions. After all, Virginia is one of the earliest sites of the American Revolution and at the same time was infamously the capital of the Confederacy. We started by reaching out to other collaborators in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and Puerto Rico. We focused on research, gathering together at these three sites over the last two years. We talked about major themes of the exhibition and invited a group of artists to make new commissioned works that engage with the creative challenges inherent in these ideas. At the same time, each institution led community processes. For us in Richmond, that included two elements last year, a VCU undergraduate seminar course and summer sessions, a series of public programs that opened our research process to the public as we considered questions related to Commonwealth in relation to Richmond. Working very closely with commissioned artists, we also reconceived the exhibition's form in Richmond and expanded it into an indoor-outdoor exhibition. So we're at the Resiliency Garden, which is a demonstration of urban agriculture, what we can do with vacant lots and community. This is a, a convergence of food justice, climate justice, and social justice. We're highlighting black space matters the need for regenerative space for people of African ancestry and what we can do in our community if we take the emptiness, the empty spaces and transform them into verdant green space. My name is Sharon Hayes and the work I did for Commonwealth is a piece called Recherque 2. I interview 23 members of two women's tackle football teams in the Dallas area and ask the players questions about the activity of, of playing football and interviewing the players together is to kind of allow them a space of collectivity and identity with each other. And also because I'm interested in this relationship between the individual and the collective and what it means for us to kind of be forming ourselves as um, people in the world together. For this artwork, I was thinking of the relationship between water the ocean as a space of cleansing and also of despair. How do you find hope within those parameters? I immediately thought of Afro-diasporic deity Yamonja, who is the ocean, the beginning of life. She creates a restorative space for healing, given the violent relationship that Atlantic Ocean connotes for many of us descendants of the Middle Passage, who continually find life and refuge within inhospitable spaces. Hi, my name is Monica Rodriguez and I'm an artist from Puerto Rico. I currently live in Los Angeles, California. The work that I have created for Commonwealth consists of 12 drawings of different monuments to the struggles of independence in the islands of Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. At the bottom of the drawings runs a text in both Spanish and English that is a quote from Puerto Rican thinker Ramon Emeterio Betances. The quote reads, Today, the revolution proceeds like a volcanic eruption from the social strata that forms the very core of the people. Mi nombre es Nelson Rivera, en San Juan de Puerto Rico. My name is Alicia Diaz. I am a dance artist originally from Puerto Rico. My work is an installation called Entre Puerto Rico y Richmond, Bridging Stories of Resistance. There is an image board that contextualizes the colonial relationship between Puerto Rico and the United States. The film combines biography, poetry, and ritual with the energy of life performance to talk about interrelated histories of racism and colonialism honoring black female tobacco workers in Richmond and Puerto Rican tobacco factory readers and activists Dominga de la Cruz Becerril and Luisa Capetillo. Para nosotros, Commonwealth es un concepto que significa muchas cosas. 
Su significado local es muy distinto a los referentes asociados en Pensilvania y Virginia. Dicho concepto, o bien estatuto legal, en español puertorriqueño es otra cosa, el Estado Libre Asociado de Puerto Rico. Desde el 1952, nuestro Commonwealth ha sido una especie de cortina de humo diseñada durante la Guerra Fría para evadir una realidad concreta. Puerto Rico es una colonia de los Estados Unidos. Nos encontramos trabajando en el desarrollo de una publicación que acompaña este proyecto. Son tres volúmenes, principalmente en formato digital, y son el resultado de una colaboración con Tigueres, una agencia de diseño puertorriqueña. En vez de pensar en la utopía de armar algo, trabajamos desde la realidad de que las cosas siempre se rompen y de que no está nada mal operar desde las fisuras, lo roto y lo interrumpido como un valor positivo. Hi, I'm Carrie Bickford and I'm the director of programs at Philadelphia Contemporary. Hi, I'm Nicole Pollard and I'm program coordinator at Philadelphia Contemporary. We saw Commonwealth as a way to specifically spotlight five Philadelphia neighborhoods connected by Lancaster Avenue, which is where Philadelphia Contemporary has been headquartered for the past two years now. To help ground the project in these communities, Philadelphia Contemporary formed a community council that's been meeting monthly since August 2019. Their work includes commissioning two Philadelphia-specific projects, which are coming soon this fall, and also include directing a substantial regranting initiative supporting a number of local organizations in West Philadelphia. We saw the work of Commonwealth as sharing power, resources, and platforms, and seriously questioning and experimenting with how an arts organization can do that work. We're immensely grateful to our neighborhood partners and community council members for their insight and direction throughout this project. And we can only hope that the infrastructure we pass along will aid the community in installing new art installations in the future.